here I am near your neck of the woods, or well, more precisely, your shoulder of the woods. Um, I've added creepy pasta to the title in order for this to get a better widespread warning. <laughs> a story is a funny thing to come with a warning, isn't it? There used to be a tree over there. It was the oldest tree in town, and for that reason alone, it was allowed to stay standing for so long, despite it being very badly haunted. Legend suggests it grew from an unmarked grave of an evil man whose crimes wouldn't give him passage to the same cemetery where his young victims were resting in peace. Therefore, the tree grew as a reminder that he had existed and he wanted acknowledgement. But this is only a legend. History, on the other hand, recorded that Mary Crangor, an 18th century housewife and alleged witch, was tried at and hung from this very tree. Since then, all manner of vehicles, from wagons to cars, have crashed here. Drivers have reported seeing a black-clothed wild woman, complete with noose around neck, dashing across the road in front of traffic, causing many to veer into the path of the tree and die. For example, in 2007, the paper reported that witnesses saw the witch spectre dart in front of teenager Bobby Mailer's car before he too swerved and hit the tree, not killing him instantly, but before he died later in hospital. Reports said around his neck there became a rope-like indentation. Could it have been a noose? It's strange. After all of these accidents, the tree barely had any scratches. The flower memorials were the only sign of tragedy. But here's an unnerving thought. If the legend is true, it was although the evil man buried there and the witch who hung there were being given flowers. And that may be why they continued to appear, to cause death, so flowers would be placed on their grave. After the newspaper article on Bobby Mailer's death, public outcry grew, and the foreboding tree's days were numbered. <sighs> the city chopped it down few years back now, and the witch hasn't been seen since. Well, hasn't been seen here. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They chopped up the tree, and the timber was made into a table. And that table is the one in your room right now. There used to be a tree over there. Look behind you. Thanks to Creeps McPasta and Mr. Creepypasta on the YouTubes for inspiring me to tell this true story of there used to be a tree over there. <laughs>